The BBC must act fast to restore trust following Lord Dyson's scathing report into the circumstances surrounding Martin Bashir's panorama interview with Diana, Princess of Wales. The government has said. The problem is, I don't think the BBC want to act fast to restore any trust because they know, you know, it's yesterday's news now. And if they leave it long enough, it'll go away and we'll all forget. And that's why I keep seeing stories like this. It makes me happy. It lets you know that you've not all forgotten. It's good. The response said, it is the government's belief that the BBC must act fast to restore trust and reassure the country that it will shine a light on any other areas falling short of the high standards we rightly expect from it. The BBC needs to improve its culture to ensure this never happens again, and that means a new emphasis on accuracy, impartiality and diversity of opinion. Now, I don't think the BBC are going to want to shine too much of a light onto their internal procedures and, you know, start restoring trust that way because look at all the scandals that have been out you know the 70s entertainer thing no one's talking about that anymore but that was a lot worse than the Bashir thing and if they start digging around and shining too much light into it god knows what else is going to come out of the wardrobe in the BBC the government notes that the BBC can occasionally succumb to a we know best attitude and this is detached from both criticism and the value of all parts of the nation that it serves and believes cultural change must be a focus for the director general and new chair on the back of the Dyson report we will use the mid-term charter review to determine whether the governance and regulatory arrangements should be strengthened, which I think they will. They're going to put in regulatory and governance things, and it's for editorial output, so news and that, and they're going to be appointed by the government. A statement from the BBC said, we welcome the government's recognition that public service broadcasters, including the BBC, provide high quality content and trusted news know about the high quality content and I don't know about the trusted news. We also welcome the clear support to ensure that the content is accessible and available to all in the future. As an organisation the BBC has set out ambitious plans for change. Have you? We will continue to focus on delivering value for all licensed fee payers by providing them with the high quality content and impartial trusted news they expect. Hold on a second there. We will continue to focus on delivering value for all license fee payers. All license fee payers. Even though a couple of weeks ago you said, we're not going to make any programs for anyone over the age of 40. We're not bothered anymore. We're focusing on the kids now. How's that for all license fee payers? And I bet there's more people over 40 paying the TV license than there is people under 40 paying for the TV license. And yes, all right, I guess that's why you want to make more programs for the under 40s to get them to pay the TV license. But it's a different world under 40. They're all watching Netflix on their tablets and stuff. It's us oldies like me, I'm over 40, who sit there and watch the telly at night, you know, and might appreciate broadcast TV, especially the really oldies. They love a bit of broadcast TV, <laughs> don't they? So it just make your mind up what you want to do. You can't say we want to focus on delivering value for all license fee payers and then have one saying, well, we're going to scrap off BBC4 and we're not going to make anything focused to anyone over the age of 40. If they want to watch our stuff, they can watch the stuff that's aimed for, for the under 40s and deal with it. I don't know. Now, what do you think about this story? Leave your comments below. I do read all your comments. I don't get the time to reply to all of them. I try. I do read them all, I promise. So leave your comments. We'll try and have a bit of a chat about it. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.